So, The Secret Life of Pets is the newest animated film from Universal Studios and Illumination Entertainment. It is directed by Chris Renault and Yaro Shane. So, the plot of The Secret Life of Pets is Max is a sport terrier who enjoys a comfortable life in the New York building until his owner adopts Duke, who is a giant and unruly canine. And during the walk outside, they encounter a group of ferocious owlet like cats and wind up in a truck that's bound for the pound. Luckily, a rebellious bunny named Snowball swoops in to save the doggy duo from captivity. In exchange, Snowball demands that Max and Duke join his gang of abandoned pets on a mission against the humans who have done them wrong. And that's pretty much the story of The Secret Life of Pets. What I think of The Secret Life of Pets is... Yep. I, I loved The Secret Life of Pets. It was a very funny film. I, From the trailers alone, the movie looked like it was going to be funny. It was, And when I saw po posters and pictures of the film, and saw reviews that people were liking the film, I was like, okay, this movie can actually be good. Let's talk about the... I want to talk about the animation. The animation in, in um, Secret Life of Pets, it looks it looks amazingly well done, uh, especially on the on the on the dogs, on the animals. The animals, these these animals look very very well done. It, they look great, and the story is pretty cool too. I the I like the I like the school the story. It's the story is a very awesome film. And not to mention, before the movie even starts, you get a short film called Mower Minions, which is a Despicable Me short film. But this film is... This movie is doing great at the box office. It's beating out most, most of the summer movies, like Ghostbusters, which is a movie I... I'm still mixed on do I want to see or do I not want to see the new Ghostbusters, but I'm very mixed about it. As, as some critics have said, this is similar to Toy Story. No, this is, does not feel like Toy Story. This is its own thing. I'm tired. But the voice acting is great. You got Lois C.K. as Max, Eric Stone Street as Duke. Kevin Hart is Snowball, Jenny Slate is Gidget, Ellie Kemper is Katie, Bobby Monahan is Mel, like Bell is Chloe, Dana Carvey is Pops, Hannibal Buress is Buddy, Steve Coogan is Ozone and Reginald, Albert Brooks is Tiberius, Terrell Strong is Sweet Pea, Chris Renaud is Norman, Michael Beatty is Tattoo, Sandra Echeverria as Maria, Jamie Camille as Fernando, and then, yeah, those are the an the animals. So all of the animals in the film, the voice acting is great, especially Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart is, um, he's very funny in the film. Honestly, Kevin Hart, he's more, he's more funny in Central Intelligence, and he's funny in this movie than he is in Ron Along 2. And that's saying a lot. But the music is nice. I do love the music. Alexandre Desplat does a great job. And this movie is just hilariously well done. This is a movie that I definitely recommend. I won't spoil anything. But I will say the movie is very fast paced. And so yeah. The Secret Life of Pets is a really great film. One of my favorite movies of the summer. And I'm very glad I watched it. So, for that alone, The Secret Life of Pets is going to get my rating of Joshua Drake's Rainbow Seal of Approval. Definitely a must-see. Let me know in the comments below what you think of um, The Secret Life of Pets. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? I'll see you guys later.